Well, hello, how is everybody today? It has been so long since I've done a makeup video. So today I'm gonna to go out and do some errands and I felt like putting on a little bit of makeup. So what I'm doing today is uh, a trick that we learned from Wayne Goss, who is a makeup artist in real life and he does have a YouTube channel. He showed this technique and I've used it once before and I really, really liked it. So I've already primed my skin and my eyes. And what he suggests is that you powder your face first. Preferably loose powder, but I don't have any loose powder. So I'm using my e.l.f. HD finishing powder here. And I am just going to use this to powder my face. And there's that. And we're not even going to use concealer under the eyes. We are just going to use the foundation. This is my Holy Grail CoverGirl Cover Girl Plus Olay Simply Ages. This is in classic beige. My normal color is buff beige, but they didn't have it when I went to Walmart that one time, so I just got this one. So now I'm just going to take a brush. I just washed this brush. And I'm going to put this on. all over my face and under the eyes can you tell the difference i can look at this side and look at this side even my under eye circles are covered up which is amazing. So, we're going to go under the eye. And all around my red nose, allergies have been absolutely ridiculous. This So, I love it. I mean, it's different, don't you think? It's it's really um, matte looking and very, very nice. So that is that. And next I am going to contour a little bit. So um, I have had this one forever too. This is the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. I've had this probably for over two years now. But it still works. It doesn't smell bad, so I'm not going to worry about it. No odor. It still works really, really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brush, and I am going to go into the darker one and do some contouring for this high forehead of mine. And this is a trick to do when you have high foreheads. Just um, use a, a contour, a dark contour, just to make this head look smaller, this forehead. And then we do it this way. And a little bit on my cheek. Just a little. Not a whole lot. Okay, and then I'm going to use the light one, this light one right here, and I'm going to contour in the areas that I want to minimize. So that's going to be here with these lines. Light minimizes anything you want to minimize, so. Okay. 
there's that. And then when I contoured, I should have done here. This gives you a jawline, and if you have a lot of fat, you just bring it down to create a shadow. So that's that. Next, I'm going to I'm going to highlight first. This is something that Mrs. Melissa M. Beauty does as well. And I did like that when she did that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a brush in the highlight. And I'm going to just put it on first right here. Right where I want to highlight. Oh dear. Don't rain on me. It's been raining on and off today, but the sun actually came out. So I thought I would uh, put on some makeup and go get a few things that I need. So that's the highlight. And then I'm going to use this e.l.f. Uh, you're going to ask me the color and I probably can't. It's always punchy. This is always punchy. And I'm just going to take this and see how pretty that looks when you do the highlight first. Everything comes out very, very pigmented when you're watching me with the ring light, but it's really not, not that. <laughs> Not that way in real time here. So, this has a little bit, well, this is kind of like a rose color right here. So, that's that. And I've already done my lips, and now we're going to do my eyes. So, what I'm going to do today, I have a really pretty top on right now that has a lot of coral in it. So I'm going to go into the Juvia's Place Nubian 3 Coral Palette and I am going to use this. So this is an interesting palette, you know. They call it the Coral Palette, but there's very few corals, believe it or not. The only coral ones is this one, <laughs> this one, and that one. Those are the actual coral colors. Everything else is kind of like what you would wear with coral. So um, I'm just going to start out with... Ooh, bright. With this one color right here. And I'm just going to put this all over my eye. Nothing too fancy because I'm just, you know, I'm going out for errands. I'm not going to be going out to dinner or anything, so. And I do like to put a little bit above the uh, the brow bone. Next, I'm going to go into the darker coral color right here. Okay. And I'm just going to take that and I'm going to put this on my lid. Just like that. Just like that. And then there is a teeny brown in here. There's a brown in here. It's like a chocolatey brown. That's that one right there. And I'm going to put this along my
lash line and up a little bit like I say I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot today just a little bit Then I'm going to do my usual triangle that I do, which is like up here and over. And then I just try to make this area a little bit darker. All right, so now I'm just going to gently blend it, just like that. And that's, well, I'm going to put this very, very pretty glitter right on top of it here. I'm just gonna use my finger just to give it a little pizzazz. And I've got a little bit of fallout from that glitter, which is always hard to get off. And there we go. And now I'm just going to use my e.l.f. finishing powder again. And just go over everything. Very simple look. And then I'm going to use my Sky High Mascara from Maybelline. And I'm ready to go. And hopefully it won't rain on me. I like this mascara, it looks really nice. So, yeah, it's Friday, it's been a quiet week. I've been very tired for the past two weeks. Um, I literally, you know, when I get home, I go in the bedroom and I get on YouTube and within an hour, I'm asleep. I wake up three or four hours later and have dinner and I've just been so tired and I don't know why. Plus I've had these sniffles and cough for like two months now. But um, doctor says it's probably just allergies. So anyway, so I'm ready to go out and uh, face the world and I've already done my eyebrows prior to filming and very very faint lip color on my lips so there you go a very quick look and I what did I do it within 10 minutes just really really easy stuff so hope you all have a great rest of the day on Friday today's Friday Friday vlog, basically just nothing this week. The only thing that was exciting was me getting my hearing aids, which I'm going to put into my ears. The blue goes on the left side. It takes some work to get them in the correct way. Sure. <laughs>
Anyway, I'll work on that. <laughs> but everybody have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.